My name's Paul Roberts. I'm a GBB for OT and IoT security at Microsoft. This is a quick look at how we can integrate Defender for IoT um, and the data and alerts coming from the collector that's on-premise into Azure and ultimately Sentinel using the Azure IoT Hub. IoT Hub is an existing entity within Azure that's used to connect greenfield IoT devices, such as those shown bottom left, security modules, IoT SDKs, uh, embedded Windows devices, Raspberry Pis running JSON or C scripts, for example. They can then send the telemetry into IoT Hub in a secure manner. And from there, we can use other services on Azure, such as Databricks, Blob Storage, Power BI, and so on, to make more meaningful reports um, and make use of the data that's coming into IoT Hub. So it makes sense that if we're pushing more IoT information from the Brownfield Defender Collector that you can see top left, that we also make use of IoT Hub. If we look at how we, how we approach this, I'm not going to go through how to build a sensor, how to deploy a sensor. That's been covered in other videos. Um, so has onboarding a sensor. But I want to take a quick look at you know, what this means. So onboarding a sensor, we have to give the sensor a name. We have to decide on what subscription we're going to license the sensor against. And then ultimately, we need to select which IoT hub we're going to use for this connection. And this IoT hub that I've selected is part of the subscription that I've onboarded. Once I've gone through the licensing steps, uh, a connection a file is made, so the activation file, that contains information such as uh, the URL of the IoT hub and the security string. So ultimately, we're going to make this connection of sending all of that on-premise data into Azure as secure as possible. Once it's connected, the on-premise collector will now send alert information natively as incidents into Azure and ultimately into Sentinel. These can then be directed into Sentinel by configuring the data connector and ensuring that the subscription that you've selected within the licensing file has been connected via this connector into Sentinel. So now Sentinel and the collector will be able to draw these incidents from the subscription and ultimately from IoT Hub into Sentinel. These incidents can then be viewed in Sentinel, contain all of the entity information and all of the all of the MITRE information around the tactics that are being used so that you know, we can enable further investigation. Now this also could be done by using syslog within the Ceph connector. However, if we use syslog to push information into Azure, then this information will need to be converted using multiple KQL statements to provide incidents. It doesn't really scale, and it's certainly not as secure as using IoT Hub. Further developments around the IoT Hub connectivity that you can see here will include you know, the ability to pull more information from the collector around asset info, event info, etc. will also allow for threat intelligence updates to be automatically pushed out to the Defender Collector. So this means that for the cloud-connected sensor that we have on-premise, IoT Hub has an integral part to play in the whole connectivity story. Thank you for listening, and I hope you found that useful.